Hi, I'm Paul Barry. Welcome to Media Bites. Are we still on air? Great. Because the headlines say chaos reigns at the ABC. And they're right. First bombshell came on Monday. Michelle Guthrie, the ABC's managing director, has been sacked by the Public Broadcasters Board. And 48 hours later, explosive ABC emails were leaked in revenge. There are growing calls for ABC chairman Justin Milne to resign over reports that he told former managing director Michelle Guthrie to sack senior reporter Emma Alberici. Can you believe it? The government hater, Milne told Guthrie, adding, I think it's simple, get rid of her. But then the leaks became a flood, with Milne accused of trying to stop the ABC moving the hottest 100 because Malcolm will go ballistic. And then being accused of demanding Guthrie shoot ABC political editor Andrew Probin because Malcolm hated him too. Unbelievable. It's the chairman's job to protect the ABC from interference. And no wonder ex-ABC chairman Jim Spiegelman was surprised. Well, I was surprised, as I said, and uh, I would not have done it. Well, another ex-ABC chairman and MD, David Hill, chimed in. I think he's got to consider his position and I think he has to go. And he was one of many. With Quentin Dempster, Peter Van Onselen, Bill Shorten, Russell Crowe, hundreds of ABC staff, the Journalists' Union, and wait for it, even Andrew Bolt calling for his head. Seems they sacked the wrong ABC boss. The person who should go, the chairman. And my bet is he'll have to walk the plank. Oh, breaking news. Nine News has confirmed that the ABC's chairman, Justin Milne, has resigned from his position. He's gone. That didn't take long. And we're still on air. So we might as well hear from uh, Graham Morris, John Howard's old friend, because he reckons he knows why Guthrie got boned. The ABC is rife with sexism. If she was a bloke, she wouldn't have been sacked. Really? Oh, yes. Now, how many presenters have we had of Media Watch who are female? None. But no. Uh, we've actually had two, Liz Jackson and Monica Adard. Uh, but hold on, he's got more. In the past, Pepper the Pig was rated five in the top five of the OECD pigs. It's now down to 13. And his point is? Hold on, breaking news. Oh, let's cross live to a press conference with James Rickardson, the filmmaker who's just been spared a six-year stint in Cambodian jail. Well, right now he's getting a SIM card for his phone. Yep, James was a no-show at his own welcome home, and his family had to explain why. He was this morning um, walking on the beach at dawn. So, no James for the press pack, or at least not for most of them. James Rickardson was on the beach at the dawn of a new day. It's been a long time since I've seen the ocean, and I miss it enormously. But a sweet exclusive for Channel 7, who got to James hours earlier and had him all to themselves. And uh, we'll be back beating the pack as always with Media Watch on Monday night. Unless uh, someone shoots me.